Nope, you're free to practice Islam if that's what you choose. You just don't have a right to bring it into private schools. You also don't get to have assurances that your kid expresses themselves in a way that aligns with your religion. Whether you like it or not, kids have rights under the charter. They have their own rights to self-expression. Sucks to be you. I don't care what religion it is. It has no business dictating what other people who are not in that religion do. How does understanding the charter and what it says make me a bigot? Like, we'll use Islam as an example. Forget about trans kids, LGBTQ kids, whatever. For Muslim kids, if your daughter does not want to wear a hijab at school, sucks to be you. She wears one until you drop her off, then when you leave, takes it off. Tough titties, that's what freedom is. The law itself also doesn't get to dictate that she take it off. Unless you're Quebec, apparently. Now, this isn't directed at the Muslim community. But, if you don't like the laws in the country that you live in, send your kids to a fucking private school. Go move to a different country that doesn't have those laws. Canada is a secular and multicultural country. Get over it. We should embrace diversity in all its forms, not just when it's convenient to you. Because that's essentially what happened with half the Muslims that attended this little hate march with the conservatives. The same people that would instantly throw Muslims under the bus. But hyper-focusing on the LGBTQ community is just... fucking annoying. And pretending that you're protecting the kids by protesting the school curriculum, which is available online and in a class that you can willfully pull your kids out of, is disingenuous as fuck. Anyway, have a wonderful day, bud.